Hi, and uh, today I'm going to go through a little bit of how to solve the area of complex shapes. Uh, sometimes we have shapes that look like they're very difficult to solve for area, and there are some tricks that we can do in order to make that just a little bit easier. So I'm going to show you that with a diagram of a pool. Uh, you'll notice that this is a pool that uh, is what we call an L-shaped pool, and I think you can see why they would call it an L, because if you followed it around, this one looks similar to a short and long L. Well, this one becomes fairly easy to do, because I think that most of you would be able to recognize that in this shape, it's actually made up of two different shapes. So the first shape is right here. We have a rectangle on that end, and then the other shape is this one right here. So when we first look at that shape, it looks like it might be difficult to find the area of it. However, if we take the However, if we take the area of this first rectangle, which will make that one a little bit of a different color, let's take that rectangle and we'll make it, well, let's make that one green, although I don't know that you'd want to swim in green water. And then this one over here, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it yellow. And uh, yellow water would be a bit funny to swim in as well. Well, if I wanted to find the area of the green shape, I would actually just have to take the length of it and its width, and I know that the area of a rectangle is going to be length multiplied by width, and then for my yellow one, I would have to take the length of it and the width of it, and its area, and we'll call that area two, is going to be length times width as well. So then in order to find the overall area of both of, of the entire pool, we know that the area of the whole pool is going to be the first area added to the second area. And you can do that with a variety of shapes and just break them into shapes that you know how to solve. And that's how we solve the area of complex shapes.